Hello everyone, I am Darren Kennedy and this, as you know, is Mr. Jim Chapman. My channel. I have not hacked his channel. <laughs> this is not a drill, this is for real. Now Jim, as you all know, does a little series on his channel called In The Closet. Mm -hmm. And I said, Jim, if you're going to get into other people's closets, we need to see your closet. It's a very, it's a very fair point. And it, that's what we're going to do. Hooray! Shall we begin? Ta-da! Oh! Did you tidy this up? No, this is me. You tidied this? No, I genuinely didn't. This is me. I'm very organised. Okay, hit us with what we've got so, here. So, here we have uh, t-shirts. I kind of have colour coordinated them because um, I'm ridiculous. So it starts with white. You'll, but you'll also notice that most of these t-shirts are the same. So I have the same t-shirt. I've got three whites, three so, black. You f four white beaters. <laughs> like, I like to layer. Yeah, okay. Just take note of that, folks. Four white beaters <laughs> in white, yeah. Um, like, this is definitely all your casual clothes, because nine times out of ten, I see you, you're much, like, sharper. Yeah, this is kind of day-to-day, -day, Jim. Um, okay, well, I want to see these. Yeah. Please, please tell me they're not all are they? No, okay. these, right? Okay, I have... these. Sorry, I thought they were all this on the back no, for a second. I've had more compliments on these than any other shoe I own. 50 quid. Ben really? Sherman. I also want to see these. Who? Sort your wardrobe, there's Tanya. No, I do. Do you? You should see Tanya's wardrobe, it's a mess. It's so tidy. I mean, even your shoes, you have them in like like this, so you can see the well, front and the back. Yeah, but they won't fit otherwise, that's why. All right, okay, these are pretty sweet. Where are they from? They're Burberry. Burberry. Um, I've got them in brown and black because I really like them. And favorite thing, before we move on, what's your favorite thing in this? Oh, that's a really tough question. Shoe shell. Uh, it depends on the on the scenario, but I, I love these. I wear these a lot when the weather's right. They're just kind of, they're quite chunky, they're suede. Or a Sweeney. Uh, oh, um, but it really does depend. I also love um, the ones you picked out here. Yeah. I love them as well, so it's really hard to pick. Okay. I want to see more. In here we have um, kind of casual shirts and jeans and trousers. Oh, and also kind of like cosy gear. <gasps> Straight I, in. I want, you, know, you can have that. Can I? Yeah, I've worn it once. I really liked it when I wore it. Um, but Tarn didn't. Can I actually have it? Yeah, totally. Yay, it's the best part of this! <laughs> oh my god! Come with me, okay, but Kenzo. That is really nice. I like this. Uh, my guns have outgrown it, unfortunately. Honestly, it's, it's quite tight on the arms. It's lovely. So now I can't really I can't nice. really fit my arms in. Yeah. And this kind of pyjama top. I wore that yesterday. I really liked it. Yeah. It's kind of a new edition. Yeah, it's lovely. Mark Jacobs. Mm -hmm. Um, I love this. This is a um it's my Burberry's cashmere. It's just a really gorgeous um knitted shirt. Uh, this one here next, I think. Okay. Have we a name for this? Thicker knitwear. <laughs> thicker knitwear. I feel like they need names. Okay. And it certainly is thicker knitwear. Thicker knitwear, yeah. Um, I recognise this one yeah, immediately. Yeah, this a lot, yeah. This is, this is the um, coach jumper with the dinosaur on it. You were wearing that when you came to Dublin. I was, I love this. Yeah. I love this. And I yeah, remember nice. you, you wore this during LCM. I did. And yeah. I spilt something on it, on the white bit as well, but I think oh, I managed to get it out. San Lawrence, beautiful. Actually, this one's really interesting. This is Reese. Yeah, that's lovely. In here we have ties. Top's gonna be underwear. No, the underwear's coming. It's in here. Yeah. Ties. I shouldn't be getting so excited, by the way. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm should. not a pervert. <laughs> I just like underwear. Uh, what's these <gasps> pocket squares and look? Yeah. I've just, do you know what? I've just collected them. It's like a shop. That's yeah, beautiful. Squares and braces and other bits and suity bits and bobs. Okay. Uh, I think that's up his underwear. Brace yourself. Let's have a look. Bum bum bum. Ah. Oh. Very neat. I'm gonna show. I like these ones. Okay, sure. You do realise you're gonna have to clean your, fix your wardrobe after I'm done. They're cute. <laughs> Thanks. What do we think, folks? Yeah, you're nay. And they're quite cute. Yeah. I've noticed they're all black and white, Jim. Yeah, I'm not really into like. Oh, that's lovely. Um, <laughs> no, they smell of Lenore. Smell them. This <laughs> lovely smell. You're so dirty. What's wrong with you? No, but it's, they're very I cute. like a good yeah. fabric softener. Sorry, I do realise they're your underwear that I just sniffed. I sniffed the crotch. Oh, dear. No, what's in here? In here we have jackets, we have shirts, and we have fine knitwear. So this kind of feels a bit like if you had a job. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like if, if you had a job, like a nine to five, yeah. I feel like I would see this part. Yes. Because they're quite formal. Yeah. This, on the other hand, is all very exciting. Yeah. I love outerwear. Like, I love jackets. This is one of my favourites. This is um, Oliver Spencer. Doesn't fit you anymore, sure, doesn't Jim? <laughs> Such a shame. It has to come at me. It doesn't fit him anymore. I love this. This is, um, it's kind of, what is it? Like a, an olive colour, could you say? Yeah, it's kind of like, well, I'd nearly say it's in like an emerald. It's yeah, really nice. Really. It's like a new book suede. I love suede. Feels I'm amazing. I'm obsessed with suede. Something in the pocket. I always put lip balm. So whenever I get a new jacket or a new bag, I put a lip balm in there. Actually, that's what we should be doing, rifling through your pockets. <laughs> I feel like you're going to have a lot of cleaning up to do after I've left. Can't 
you know, it is what it is. Either way, thank you. So here we have um, thicker jackets. Now I'm in I love outerwear, as you can see, I've got quite a lot of it. Never guessed, you. <laughs> and more green. Yeah, I love this. You're a big fan of Burberry, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I worked with Burberry and that kind of was, I had to, I wore that for the job I was doing with them, so that was gorgeous. Yeah. And you love your Sherling. Yes. I and do. you love your wool. Yes. And basically you love everything I do. that life has to offer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, you know, the house is burning down, you can only take one coat. What would it be? It's this one, because this is really sentimental. This is the first kind of designer item I ever had. The first, and Tom bought this for me when I was in New York. I actually asked her to marry me a few days before. And I think she was like, oh, I got a ring. I have to get Jim something. So um, she got me this. And it's just, it's gorgeous. And it's beautiful, looks great on, fits really well. Stunning. Classic. Yeah, the classic camel coat. Mm -hmm. That is pretty special. I don't think yeah. I've ever seen you wear this. I've worn it quite a few times. But last time I wore it, I saw three other people wearing it. Like, in the same day. And, and I kind of was like, well, I need to kind of give it a bit of a break now. This is really nice, though. I... Sorry, I got distracted. Oh, I've got hats. By like that gorgeous like suede cap. This cap, yeah, this isn't mine, this is Tanya's. It doesn't look very good on me. No, but you have to do it right. You've got a big old, big old melon, haven't you? A big old what? Big old melon. Alright, thanks. <laughs> Fat head. Yeah. Yeah. Fucker. Okay. <laughs> uh, sorry, back to the coats. Yeah. Um, I like this. I, I, this. I wore this um, when I did some work with GQ. And again, it's one of those things where they just dressed me in this and then never asked for it back. So, um... <laughs> Thanks. Now you've reminded them that yeah, they never got it back. Okay, next! <laughs> Cold now. Uh, the final section is this. Uh, this is suiting. Uh, I've got a few suits. I love me some suits. Yeah, you, well, you've got your own suits. I've oh, got my own suit range, yeah. I've lots of colour in my suits. Yours? Mm -hmm. I'm instantly drawn to this blue one. Yeah, this, this, is really, one. this is kind of a recent edition, this blue one. This is by um, Ralph Lauren. I wore it to Wimbledon. It's really lightweight. Nice. And it's not lined. So it's, it's not perfect. lined. It's good for summer. What's your favourite? You've got, what, at least 20 odd suits in here? Well, quite a few. My favourite will be the one I got married in, which is... Such a romantic. This one, because um, it's fully bespoke. It's the only suit I have that was made entirely for my measurements. Fully bespoke, double printed, uh, waistcoat, and it's just gorgeous. I love it. Okay, nice. What's the oldest item in your wardrobe? Um, probably the, uh, the camel coat I showed you earlier. Maybe. Maybe that. How old are we talking? That's about... Four years. What's the most embarrassing item you have, actually? Oh, maybe the jumper I gave to you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Uh, most expensive item in your wardrobe? Um, either my watch, which was uh, a gift that my wife bought me. We didn't look at your watch. Yeah. Well, my, my dog's whinging. Uh, either my watch, um, but if we're talking strictly clothes, then probably the, the wedding suit. I have no idea how much it would have been because it's completely bespoke. Yeah, the head's some fire. What's the one item you'd take? The camel. The camel is it? Coat. Yeah. What about Martha? I mean, she's not an item. She's um. She's a being. Yeah, she's a being. But but I, what I do is I wrap her up in the coat. Well, or I go, Martha, go get the coat. Who inspires you though? Where do you get your inspiration? So I'm really fickle. Um, I can be Never. inspired. <laughs> fickle? I wouldn't yeah. have thought so. You're such a mess. <laughs> I'm inspired by movies, films. TV advertising. If I see something in a shop or like like um, an ad somewhere, I'm like, I need that. Uh, but also, there are a few people that consistently I really like. So I think Ryan Gosling has great style, mm -hmm. both really casually and with suiting. Uh, Tom Hiddleston, Eddie Redmayne, all are really good. So people like that, I just kind of Google. <laughs> Whatever. But you do your own thing. I do my own thing. Yeah, I throw my own my own skin. Jim, thank you so much. I Thanks feel for, honored. Thanks for coming in. You have to leave now because I've got so much tidying to do. I can't handle it. <laughs> Uh, we also filmed a video over on Darren's uh, channel, so go check that out. Uh, he's fairly new to YouTube, so give him some love, give him a thumbs up, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye.